Hey guys, it's Blair from Feed the Crime. This is my first video. So I've been seeing book subscription boxes everywhere. So booktube and blogs, Twitter, everywhere. I have been recently getting art subscription boxes. Um, I've been getting scroller box for I think the last five months. And I fancied a change because I love subscription boxes and I love books so I really wanted to get into a book subscription box which makes sense really doesn't it um so and then there's a decision of which one to get because there's so many different options and but the majority of them are just YA fantasy and I'm relatively new to this um genre I've only just started recently reading it like the last month so um I read Never Night, started God's Grave, really love them. Um I'm reading Assassin's Blade because I'm wanting to start um the Throne of Glass series, I believe it's called. And I've also got the City of Bones because I really want to start the um Mortal Instruments series as well. So I'm wanting to get there, but at the minute, if I got these subscription boxes dedicated to them, I they'd go over my head really. I probably wouldn't enjoy them as much. I wouldn't appreciate them because I, I don't know really about them. So I was looking around thinking, what box should I get? And then I came across Book Rush channel and um, I saw this, the Book Box Club. Now, from what I've seen so far, this is, um, it, there's not as many fandoms in this, if at all. And um, the it's quite mixed, so it's not all fantasy. Um, now, if you're familiar with my blog, you know that I'm a crime, thriller, mystery kind of gal. But it's time to expand. So, thanks to BookTube, I've been doing reading loads of different dramas. I've even been reading graphic novels, like, who am I? Like, when did I start liking graphic novels? Anyway, um, that's for a different video. So, yeah, like I said, this is my first video, this is my first book box. I just thought, why not? Because as much as I love reading about unboxings and seeing the pictures, it's not the same as actually unboxing it and finding out more about it and seeing what that person thinks and if they actually enjoy it. So, I just thought, do you know what? I'll give it a go. Sorry if the quality is not the best because I am on my Surface laptop and natural lighting in my little boy's room. The only place I've got space for a bookcase. So, now... This came yesterday morning and I've been waiting so long to open this but I was like nope I'm not taking a sneak peek I am opening this for the first time on video and I came prepared to open it with a pen see how we get on so I believe that this is a UK um subscription box so it came relatively quick it got posted on the 17th and today is the it's the 21st and it came yesterday so it only took what two three days so let's see Ooh, we get blue there's a note for me it says open me last that's exciting we got all this fab stuff that I'm pretty sure will end up everywhere. Oh, but this. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. But this is what it looks like inside. That wrapping paper is fab. Now, I know from the videos I've been watching on Book Cross that it used to just be silver wrapping paper. But they've changed it. And I'm really glad that they wrapped them up because some of the boxes... I see and then when you open it you see the book and being me I love to see everything first and be surprised with the book last <gasps> we have a mug and it says welcome to the forbidden forest uh, 
I'm a mug hoarder. I love a mug. I actually have a Starbucks reusable one at the minute and we went to see Infinity War, Infinity War and Endgame and the Starbucks, the manager, had been drawing on them so I managed to get a um, Black Widow one and Chris ended up getting a Black Panther one which is really cool. But yeah, this, this is stunning. Do we have a card so I know where everything's from? Once I get to the card, we will, I'll be able to let you know who made this, but that's stunning. And what do we have here? Mamo's Magical Hand Cream. I forgot to mention, I'm pretty sure that this theme is Witches in the Woods. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it's to do with witches. And that might make sense with the Mamo's Magical Hand Cream. So this is a UK company, handmade in Yorkshire. Oh, it's a pretty little treat company. Oh, that's so cool. So it's hand cream. Oh, nearly got that on my nose then. Oh. oh, that smells really fresh and floral. I don't normally like that, but, oh, I like that. That's real nice. So we have, Ooh, gourmet marshmallows, caramel, handmade gourmet marshmallows, caramel flavour and the vegan. So I'll have to try them with a hot chocolate later in my new mug. So, oh, is this a coaster? I think it is Witches in the Woods. That looks like it might be Sabrina, but I might have just seen a teenage witch and thought, it's Sabrina. Where does it say? This is made in the UK as well. Again, when I find the um, the card with everything on. So we do get two books this month. I'll go to that in a minute because I have just seen the spoiler card. So I can properly tell you things first. Yes, it was Witches in the Woods. Um. Oh, it is a Sabrina Coaster. Sabrina Coaster and the artwork is by Beatrice Joy Filesho. I don't know if I said that right. I um, There's a link to her Instagram, so I will link that in the um, description below. The Caramel Marshmallows. <laughs> Even witches need sugary snacks. Oh, I love the description of this. Toast these vegan marshmallows over your bubbling cauldron for a yummy reading treat. This on fab. Oh, and the, um, who are they by? Oh, yeah, the Ananda Foods. And then the Mamo's Herbal Hand Cream. It's inspired by, so it's inspired by Mamo from Perfectly Preventable Deaths. AKA, AKA the wise witch of the woods of Ballyfram. I've no idea guys. If you have, if you are aware of that, then please let me know be below because that's got me stumped. Um, yeah, and that's why Pretty Little Treats. Oh, the mug is the Forbidden Forest mug with art, but art, oh, I can't speak today. Words I struggle with. Right, so the artwork is by my Melidro Craft Company. Swig your butter beer for this, from this exclusive enamel mug and be transported to the home of Hogwarts' most magical creatures. Ooh. The Forbidden Forest may be off limits to students, but we've secured special access for the Book Box Club members. Enter if you dare. And again, the links to the websites, I'll leave them all down below. This, this is just stunning. Don't want to read anything else, because it's going to say the books. Ooh, is this an art print? Let's have a look. Oh, a gorgeous print of the bewitching cover of our featured read. Ooh, 
that is fab we got crow skull potions very very fitting for the team and what is this i will not be erased it looks like it might be a promotional card so yes it is i will not be erased our stories about growing up as people of color and that is out on the 6th of june on the front it says you are the only person who gets to define your define your blackness that sounds fab so what else do we have i think it's just the books left now so as i said i believe we're getting two books this month so the one that's not wrapped is tangleweed and brine that cover is stunning and it's by deirdre sullivan and it's illustrated by karen vaughan oh with a new story great walking beauty again with the words i just can't get them out so what does it say when you venture into, into forests you must protect yourself there's darkness here tread softly and be careful Bewitched retellings of classic fairy tales with brave and resilient heroines. Tales of blood and intrigue, betrayal and enchantment. Not for the faint-hearted or damsels in distress. Wow. So is it short stories then? The collection. It sounds like it could be. Let's have a look. Oh yes it is. Oh, I don't have a book of short stories actually. So, um this and there's illustrations wow this is stunning see if i can find another one for you wow they're just it's beautiful oh it's a different one So the kind of stories in here, what does it say, retellings? Yeah, bewitched retellings. So we've got, oh, they've all got their own name. And then at the other side, it tells you what the retellings are. So we've got Cinderella, Red Riding Hood, Rapunzel, Hansel and Gretel, Rumpelstiltskin, Fair, Brown and Trembling. I'm not sure about that one. Snow White, A Little Bird. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry about that. A Little Mermaid. The Frog Prince, Bluebeard, Donkey Skin. Where have I been to not know these? The Goose Girl, Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty. Oh, that's it. But these illustrations, like I said, I've not got a book of short stories. And it's something that I've been wanting to start because I love that you can just pick up a book. Ah, see, look. Just beautiful. So that's Tangleweed and Brine by Deirdre Sullivan. That's fab. I just realised I could have been putting them up on my little shelf. What did that me? So. Da, 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 da. Now. For the reason we're here. For the book of the month. I need to get prepared first. Mm. This this wrapping paper is stunning. Ooh. Oh, I see. Perfectly preventable deaths. Because what was was it the hand cream? Yeah, inspired by Mamo from Perfectly Preventable Deaths. So, that's why I didn't know it, because it's, oh, Oh, we have a signed book plate, so that can go in the book and it can be signed. Oh, it's from the same author as this, Deirdre Sullivan. Bones in the Mountains, Magic in the Blood. That sounds, f what's this it? 16 year old twins Maddie and Caitlin have moved to Ballyfran, an isolated peculiar town in the mountains, a place where for generations teenage girls have gone missing. Caitlin has always been the confident one and Maddie is used to being in her shadow. But in Ballyfran, 
Bally Fran, not Bally Fran. Their paths divide as Caitlin falls in love and Maddie begins to discover powers she never knew she had. Maddie will have to find something hidden deep within her if she's going to prevent her sister losing more than her heart to the strange town. But there's no compass for the human heart and what feels right must be more dangerous than either. Let's try that again. But there's no compass for the human heart. And what feels right might be more dangerous than either sister realises. There's no such thing as safe in Ballyfran. See, I don't really read about witches. Um, but like I said at the beginning, I'm wanting to expand my drama and read more. <laughs> this sounds fab. And we all love a floppy paperback. So, this sounds really good. I'm, I'm kind of more excited about all the retail ends, but that might just be because I've never re read about witches before. Um, yeah, so I, that's everything guys. So I was gonna, I wanted to know in the comments or on my blog or wherever, I'll link all that down below by the way. What book subscription boxes do you do? There's the next month, I don't think they've said it on this, but I had an email. I'm pretty sure that next month is We Love Y We Love UK YA. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about getting it, but I'm just like I said, I'm still really new to YA. So I'm just not hundred percent sure. But let's see my little note. Oh, you are invited to the clubhouse for our Witches in the Woods book group with Deirdre Sullivan. Oh, that's so cool. So you can meet the author, ask your questions and make new friends. Oh. So yeah, that's everything guys. Um, I love that you can go and meet the author of the books. Because uh, that's fab, because normally you read and you fall in love with authors. But then that's it. You don't know the author as a person. You just know the author through their books. So I love that idea. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be everything for today. Um, definitely these two. And then over here. There we go. These two, definitely my favourites. Um, I will let you know about these. I love caramel and I love marshmallows. So let's be honest, I should like them. But anyway, so let me know what um, book subscription boxes you do. Have you tried Book Box Club before? Because like I said, this this is my first time. I bought it myself. Um, they don't know I'm doing this video. It's not sponsored. I'd love it to be. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so yeah, that's going to be everything for today. And um, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.